All right, so here we go. Here's the latest issue that I've had. Seems like I've had so many issues this year and last year. Um, but this is the latest one. This is my camper uh, propane system. That is the regulator right there. And whenever I connect it to the uh, propane, air is leaking out along this seam here. Uh, sprayed some um, soap in there and that's how I figured out where most of the propane was coming from. Uh, this is a um, a double sized uh, propane tank that uh, I had just connected a whole a full one and it, it, within two days it was empty and figured out that I must have had some kind of propane link. I, I even smelled something uh, and I was thinking okay you know it might have a small leak no big deal I'm not gonna worry about it well it must have been a big leak and there's a lot of air coming through here whenever I connect it so anyway I'm um, trying to figure out a way that I can um, repair it um, instead of having to replace it so I'm gonna try to save myself a hundred bucks but uh, we'll see I'm gonna uh, what I'm gonna do is take some uh, Gorilla Glue and fill this little, um, there's kind of like a little reservoir there. I'm gonna try to fill that with glue and see if that works and stops the um, the leak. So uh, wish me luck. So first off, before I put the glue in, I'm gonna go ahead and see if, make sure that it's all dried out because there was some, um, still some soapy water in there. So I'm gonna make sure I get all of that out. So I'm, I'm gonna use this, uh, Hair dryer. I'm gonna use this hair dryer and um, see if I can get all all the uh, moisture out of it. All right, so I've got the glue in. I don't know if you can see that there, but that whole little reservoir is um, filled with glue. And I'm um, gonna wait for it to dry and test it in a little bit. Um, I'm not expecting that it's gonna seal it off completely, but I'm um, trying to have just a smaller leak than what it was, because there was a whole lot of um, propane coming out of there. So anyway, uh, we're gonna let that dry for several hours, and then we'll test it out. Um, yeah, it was like 19 degrees last night, so it was still uh, frozen, so that was another reason why I used the blow dryer. Uh, the hair dryer to uh, warm it up a little bit because there was soap that was frozen still so anyway we'll um we'll check that in a little bit all right guys moment of truth um after one day after putting the uh glue down um i tested it yesterday uh turned it on and sprayed the soap on it and there was still a little bit uh, seeping out. Also, there was some seeping out from this hose here, a little bit uh, bubbling coming from uh, there. So I decided to go ahead and put one more layer of the glue yesterday, let it sit all day, let you see what it looks like. Um, also, right here, there was none and I think it was leaking a little bit from there. So um, after letting it dry for probably about seven hours or so, I um, I went ahead and tested it. And last night it it seemed pretty good. It seemed like um, there is a you know a little bit maybe leakage, but uh, not very much. So I'm gonna go ahead. I've got my spray here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And okay, that's right. Okay, so it's on. Gas is, is going. So let's go ahead and spray it and see what happens. Well, looks like a little bubbling there. Yep, a little bit of bubble action right there. Okay, now this hose I don't see anything coming out of there, but I do see a little bit coming from right there. But um, 
for the most part, it's not bubbling much. It's got that one big bubble there. And I can smell a little bit coming out, but I don't, it's not, it's not very bad. So this may help you guys um, if you have a similar situation like this um, and get it to where it's good enough to where you're not losing a whole bunch of gas like I did. I mean, there was so much coming out. I may put a little bit more glue on because I see right here, it looks like a little bit of a gap right there. So I think that might be where the, um, the, the uh, gas is coming from. Anyway, um, hope this helps somebody and um, like and subscribe if, if it did. Thanks and I'll talk to you guys later.